Hi everyone, it's Amy from Indigo Junction. Today we are going to review the wall art star pattern. We've had a few questions about the construction process, so we will touch on that as well. The wall art star includes options for a split arm, two fabric style, or the single arm fabric style. Here are some examples with the two fabrics opposite each other. This is the fabulous metallic fabric from Wyndham called Uncorked. I love the accent of the metallic thread that you see here. This is an example where we used 10 fabrics. Keep in mind, if you use the lights and the darks, your star will have more dimension visually. There are two other sizes of stars that we included in the pattern. This is the single fabric arm and it is the medium. Here is a small version that we actually added a back side to to make it a tree topper. This large star features Paintbrush Studios fabric. I love to add buttons to the center of the star it's perfect to cover any imperfections. For a more finished look, you can cover the wrong side easily because the exposed side has the fusible coating on it. So we have had a lot of questions on whether it is necessary to use the FabriFlare stabilizer with this pattern. And the answer is yes. Our formulation is rigid enough for the star to hold its shape. Other similar products on the market will not achieve the same results. My feeling is if you are taking the time to buy the fabric and make the star, you want the best results. One package of stabilizer will make a large wall art star or a combination of smaller stars. The stabilizer is available by the yard as well. We have also had questions on the hinge stitch in the pattern, so I thought I would share an example. This is the single fabric arm, and the hinge stitch is sewn before we wrap and fuse the fabric. See the zigzag in the blue thread? This is the version that is the split arm, where we wrap and fuse each half, then stitch. Here you can see the red thread on the edge where we zigzagged on the wrong side. And here is what the stitch looks like on the right side of the star. This is a line from Moda. I just love the blueprints in Anne's Arbor from Minnick and Simpson. The wall art star pattern offers so many options for you. Take two small stars and stitch them wrong sides together to make a mobile. This is another Moda line called Savannah from Gingerbur. Check out the large star with the animals custom cut to fit the arms. The great thing about FabriFlare is that you can customize the projects for your space and style. Also think about upcycling fabric for a star. This is the first star I made when I was designing this pattern and I grabbed thrift shop shirts from my stash for my first try and I was actually pretty pleased with the results. I hope you enjoyed this Indigo Junction pattern review. Be sure to sign up for our newsletters at Indigo Junction and amyberrickman.com and to stay up to date on our latest pattern releases. And subscribe to this channel so you won't miss a video. Thanks for watching.